This is your daily briefing and you are most welcome to it. I'm struggling to believe that there is such a thing as uh, this much um, coincidence in the small world of uh, world football and talk of uh, Vlahovic, and I wish it was talk of somebody else who I could pronounce with greater ease, um, could be coming to Tottenham. Figures rumoured to be in the region of 60 million euro. He's a very good striker, 21 goals in 37 games in Serie A. Um, Atletico Madrid are also in the mix again 60 million euro plus a young Argentinian defender who's only 21 um, Fabrizio Romano is, is, is always there and I've got to say there, 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 are, there are little nudges of dissatisfaction about Romano and I think he's a great lightning rod for what we're involved in here um, he's clearly an aggregator. He's not Father Christmas. Little boys and girls all over the planet aren't writing to him. We're doing the most thoughts. And I think what he does, he does very well. And he doesn't annoy me in the slightest. And Romano says that um, City are preparing a new bid for Harry Kane around about 150 million. Would also include add-ons if necessary to convince Spurs who are looking just to amass cash opposed to players. Tottenham still hope to keep Kane, but Man City are not giving up. A bill will, will a bid will be ready. I think a bid is coming, and I think it's a bid that a lot of um, empty commentators, a lot of dull commentators, are going to say, "Oh well, well that's not very much." And I don't know what's kind of allowed this stupidity of thought to 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 feature. And in fact, I'm going to come on to it later. But the absence of critical thought in football is quite soul destroying. So you've got people sat there who know nothing about football. I would suggest are unworldly, generally speaking. And they're saying, oh, well, if Jack Greenish is 100 million, then Henry Kane must be 200 million. And it's just mindless. It, it doesn't have any substance or value or worth to it whatsoever. Um, so that in one respect, as soon as this is done, and we can all move on with our lives, the better. Um, I, I'm, I'm becoming slightly tired with the whole thing, just because the commentary on it is just so weak. Um, I think a deal will be done. I don't think the player wants to be there anymore. And I think attacking his, prof whether he's a professional person or not, is also after the event. And again, that's something I'm going to come on to as well. Um, elsewhere in the, 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 the rumour hoover, um, the Japanese lad, Calcio Mercato now believe that an agreement for 20 million, which is what they were asking for a month ago, has been agreed um, and the money's right for Bologna. Um, the only thing re remaining is the terms of the payment, personal terms agreed, which they were weeks and weeks and weeks ago. If Spurs can get a, a payment plan out that satisfies Bologna, then that's good to go. Another one is comes from Andre Hernan, Portuguese journalist. Shakhtar fullback Dodo has a proposal from Tottenham. The English sent an offer of 20 million euros and Shakhtar refused. Conversations follow. Ukrainian club wants to sell for a bigger value. Do we need another Dodo to join our piles of doo-doo at the back? That would be my obvious question. Um, Paul Coit has been sacked. Um, I tweeted um, yesterday, I found out that my work is now at an end at my beloved club. i got to say, his predecessor was treated in exactly the same manner, um, and so have numerous other people from um, within the Enoch environments. And um, if you endorse a bad culture by failing to challenge it, even in the small ways that we can all challenge things in life, um, then, then you are, you know, you will eventually be a victim of it. Um, Enoch, great business, not nice people, not nice people at all. Um, I found Paul, personally speaking, so sanitised, and this whole company man, true fan, and this get the laboursome business of get behind the team and up the Spurs. Um, yeah, OK, mate. I, listen, I mean, I, I just find the whole thing of being told to get behind a team or get behind anything just or dreadfully patronising. Um, I'm, I'm, I would regard myself as a fanatical supporter of this club. Doesn't mean I have to count out all the nonsense that goes along with it. Um, I didn't sign up for that. And, and certainly I, I think this guy's fallen under the wheels of the, the, the tank that he was merrily waving to people from for so many years. I, I, I feel sorry to, for him to a certain degree. I don't begrudge him a job. 
um, but I don't think that he can turn around and get much sympathy or whatever because I can't see him working anywhere else and as far as Daniel Levy or Donna Cullen I can just say Phew. you know their attitude would be Phew. don't care um, next man in there's been an awful lot of chat and concern about this suddenly um, I'm uncertain that in the in the modern age in the 21st era 21st century era you actually need a man with a microphone on the pitch at half time and I think perhaps there's more sophisticated options out there um, and people are talking about the, the, the concerns of it being a vlogger or an influencer being unleashed upon them uh, my money would be on an American of mixed ethnic ethnical heritage with a non-visible disability um, in, you know ideally with a lisp would be my um, my word of uh, warning or encouragement and um, I've got two comedy items. The first is there's a protest, another protest. So get your bed sheets ready um, and your room temperature cans of lager. Three o'clock it is, opposite the club shop on match day, 16th of August. Um, and I, the only thing I can say is that I, I saw the numbers. I saw the numbers people were getting with the stadium build videos. And it's like when you go into a news agents in the old days and they had all the rude magazines on the top shelf and you know it's a multi-million pound business but you know everybody says well it's not me buying them I think that a lot of the people that are now coming out onto the streets have missed the boat they had an opportunity they didn't seize it they were actually actually at the time they were horrified by the idea of challenging the club and the business models of Enig um, and perhaps if they'd spent less time um, watching stadium erection videos um, and um, th then they might not have to waste even more of their time coming out onto the streets now and frankly risk looking ridiculous because you're not going to change anything um, you're about as you know, I'm not going to make any p parallels but but all of these things are just it, it's after the event you know I'm not I'm not mocking you as such but holding up a bed sheet come on um, may, maybe the banners and signs should be photoshopped to say we missed the boat first time round um, comedy item I tried to leave to the end it, it, it was a tight run thing this uh, this day but um, from the athletic remember for kids it's only a pound um, the Spurs hierarchy have impre been impressed by the calming effect Nuno Espirito Santo has had on the club players are enjoying working with him and feel much better well you know me I'm all about feelings and you know if they're feeling the feels then I'm with them too hallelujah glory be I'm just so pleased they're feeling better uh, we play Manchester City next weekend then we'll see how we're feeling good luck keep it on them